Okay, let's keep on studying the remaining statement uh, that is the call run method. This method or this doubling statement will be called the real method on the mock. Uh, you can from the method name and the statement name will be understood. Okay, let's quickly take and uh, demonstrate. Define the list top variable. Mock. The list um, is an uh, interface, and uh, all of the method and the property, all of the method is uh, abstract. Maybe uh, <laughs> uh, from the JDK nine, JDK eight existing no object, uh, existing default method that were that is not the object. All right. So if wanted uh, stubbing the mock object by Korean method will be reject, but will not um, display the syntax error. Simple test. Test. When? Um, list and uh, any string. Okay. And uh, then call the run assert. Okay. When list size. Then call the run assert. Those two source code line is uh, stubbing. Let's and the and one sorry two other that list size equal to execution test Oops. as you can see it's uh, execution is field and cannot call abstract row method on Java object right because the list is uh, interface okay we can change the list to link the list that is the child class it implements the list interface now. Right, the test test method is usually successfully after we replaced uh, or we changed the um, date top list top to link the list. And uh, from the from the statement, we will find one and two elements add into the list. But we wanted to get the data from the index zero. What happened? Get from zero because we noted to perform the get method on list objects, right? Is now. No value. Okay, as uh, match our expected, but uh, you can see, maybe you can you have some confusion. Uh, we added two elements into the list, and uh, the size is uh, two, right? But uh, we could not get the value from the index zero. That's why, because this object is the mock object, not the real, real object created by new keywords, right? And then we only establish the add method and the size method and not establish the 
get mustered by call room survey. So this is a, this is a particular stumbling statement. Particular. Okay. Let me add some comments. Particular. That is very useful. And uh, I can give uh, quickly give uh, examples. Uh, for example, I write the source code named uh, particular and uh, particular. As you can see, I'll quickly define the uh, tumor third into particular service. Sometimes uh, not all of the methods will be depend on external service. That means uh, uh, this method uh, will be not available in this moment, but the get random method uh, will be work fine, right? Because it, uh, it method not uh, depend on external resource. We can unit test on a core RAM, RAM method. So we can write the test at here. What? Test when assert test. And don't forget mock the particular service. Particular service mock. Okay. And we and the what? Particular service get random will call the real method, but get from external, then return five. Okay. Now we can add the assertion statement for to verify. Particular get external will equals file and uh, particular get random because this this is really generated by random so we, we could not exactly to now the, the finally value uh, we will use uh, less than less Less than I remember the ham crash uh, existing the uh, rest than assert. Uh, we can we can we can use less than one hundred. Okay. Import by static way. Measure. All right. Execution this test method. Let's agree. Passed. Okay. Expected our um, uh, matched our expected. Of course, we can refact by I uh, do call run method with do call run method with statement and the statement. Okay. Do call remember search when part of service get ready. Okay, copy. And uh, um, I will I will I will only for rhythm external will uh, keeps uh, keeps the uh, old style execution. Okay, pretty cool. 
now I think we already completed all of the stabling statements all this statement can perform performed on object that is uh, created by mock or created by spy about spies in future lectures I will explain and uh, exercise um, tutorial to our students okay see you next lecture